Court is calling 2022 CR 6643, State of Texas versus Karen Munoz. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Uh, Jason Gerhan, Your Honor. Defense? John Young. And are you Ms. Munoz? Ms. Munoz, I'm showing you what's entitled Court Admonishments and Defendant's Waivers and Affidavit of Admonitions. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Did you understand you're charged with possession of a controlled substance penalty group one? One gram to four grams, that's a third degree felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand if the state is able to prove um, the repeat offender enhancement allegation paragraph, then your range of punishment will be anywhere from two to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? She has, Your Honor. Showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. According to the plea bargain agreement, punishment is to be assessed at five years in the prison. There's a $2,500 fine. No application for deferred adjudication. State recommends community supervision. And there is $57 for drug testing. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes. Defense? Yes, Your Honor. State? Yes, Your Honor. Next, I'm showing you outside the plea bargain agreement. The state is requesting that your community supervision be for a term of five years. There be a TAP evaluation and 180 hours of community service restitution. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes. Then to the offenses charged, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Yes. State any evidence? Yes, Your Honor. State office, state exhibit number one with all these attachments. No objection, Your Honor. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one in attachments and review the same. All right, after reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, I'm sorry, with regards to the repeat offender enhancement allegation, how do you plead to that true or not true? I'm sorry. Did you say true? Yes. All right, after reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will find you guilty. The court will find the enhancement allegation true based upon your plea of true and based upon state's exhibits one and attachments. Are we proceeding with uh, sentencing? No, Your Honor, we're asking for a point, but the delay on the PS, PSI. All right, state? Uh, state's will defer to the court on uh, the PSI. I, it is a agreed five over five, Your Honor. Uh, we told you earlier why we need yes, a little I, bit more. Yes, I understand that. that. If you want, we can go forward with sentencing. And then if there is an issue, the court still has jurisdiction. And I would I would prefer, Your Honor, if we gave her some uh, flexibility here before we impose sentence. Okay. All right, we'll reset it for 30 days. Thank you, Your Honor. And the information that needs to be uh, turned over, that needs to be done before that 30 day time Thank period. You, if not, then we will go forward with sentencing. What date? I can do it the seventh. All right, we're coming back on February 7th at 9 a.m. And Ms. Ferguson will give you um, the reset form. Hmm? PSI. No PSI. Uh, Ms. Munoz, yes, if you're drug tested today, what are the results going to be? I'm not. I'm sorry? I said no, I'm not doing Okay. All right, we'll see you back on February 7th. All right, the court is calling 2022 CR 6643. Uh, everyone, please whisper. State of Texas versus Karen Munoz. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? The state defense. John Young for the defense. And are you Karen Munoz? Yes, ma'am. You entered a plea on January 10th of no contest, applied for probation. The court found the enhancement true yes, based upon your plea of true. And then you did not show up for sentencing. And so. She told me that she missed the date. That, that's all, Your Honor. And then she just got scared. All right. According to the plea bargain agreement, punishment is to be assessed at five years in the prison. There is no application for deferred adjudication. And the state is recommending community supervision. Uh, was there a TAP evaluation in this case or no? I don't believe so, Your Honor. I think it was just set for sentencing. Okay. She has a, a, her own business and she wanted to get it set up so that she could, uh, in case she decided to 
do something other than probation. Okay, let me see here. All right. Anything else you wish to say on behalf of your client? No, Your Honor. We would ask you to follow the agreement. All right. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you, God. Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. All right. All right. You can lower your hand. So why didn't you show up for court? I came on the fourth, February the fourth, and it was closed. And they gave me a a, a resentencing date. I thought was for the tenth on my birthday, but it was for the seventh of February. And by then, I already had the warrant, and I was just like, this this warrant has plagued me. I'm glad that I'm here. I can get this over with. I just, I need to get it behind me. And no, you were, get you were set for February 7th. There was no fourth day. No, I came on the 4th. On the, February the 4th, they gave me a resentencing. And I thought it was for the 10th, the, the next pay. The no, next. no, no. What I'm saying is on January 10th, I originally set you on February 7th. Because that's why it's written here. I still have the paper. Oh, the pink paper where I came on the fourth. I was just a miscommunication, I guess, on my behalf. All right. Are you employed? Yes, I have my own business. It's a removal. Okay, industrial. stop talking so fast. I'm sorry, nurse. All right. So, what do you do? I remove industrial waste. And how long have you been doing that? Since November eleventh of twenty twenty one. Do you have any children? Um, they're all adults. All right. What are their ages? Um, my youngest is eighteen. 25, 24, 21, 19, and 18. All right. Do you have any grandchildren? Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? I mean, hopefully one of them will have a baby. My daughter teaches at third grade. She's not. No, having... I'm wondering, is anyone expecting? No. All right. This is a drug case. So, what drugs, what's your drug of choice? Uh, I used to do drugs a long time ago. I don't do drugs anymore. What's your drug of choice? I, I don't have one. Well, no, this is a drug case. Yes, I, the drugs were found in the car, but I haven't done drugs in about seven years. What drugs have you done in the past? I used to do heroin for a long time. When's the last time you used heroin? About in 2016, maybe. All right. And the drug in this case is meth. Have you ever used meth? No. All right. So you're the only person in the vehicle in this car. Yes. The officer is saying that they found the drugs on the center console in plain view. So how could you not know there was meth in the vehicle? Because it was like two o'clock in the morning. I was going to go buy a loaf of bread and it was not my car. It says there was cr crystal like substance next to E1 with a torn baggie in the cup holder. So you're telling the court you don't have any drug problems? No, not not. All right. This is all on the record. And I'm telling you right now, if you want to insist that you haven't used drugs in for a long time and that you have no drug issue, then we're not going to address that. Yes. Do not come back to this court on a motion to revoke saying you have a drug problem. Yes, do you understand? Yes, ma'am. So do you want help for your drug issue or no? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, in probation, if you'll make a notation that she has no drug issue. That's yes, right. All right. This is what the court is going to do. The court is going to sentence you to five years in the prison, suspended and probated for five years. There's a $2,500 fine that will be probated. There's to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person. I'm going to want random monthly UAs. Proof of employment within 30 days of release. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. 180 hours of community service restitution, if she wishes, she can buy out of that at $7.25 per hour. And I'm gonna suggest the San Antonio Food Bank, but if there is another charity you would like that donated to, you can let probation know. And if it's on the approved list, then it can be for that. I just choose the San Antonio Food Bank because usually there's a shortage of food. Your Honor, is she allowed to continue her business as the employment? Yes, as long as it's not as a home health care provider or with minors. Thank you, Your Honor. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. I'm going to want field visits one time per month. 
for three months and then probation at your discretion. Uh, probation, is there anything else she needs? Okay. All right. Anything else you need from the court to be successful? Thank you, Your Honor. Anything else you need? No. Right, we can go off the record. So what's the tattoo about? It was just a, on, my son passed away. It was only God can judge me. It was long when I got it. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry to hear about that. And then the names? My kids. Okay. And then the chest? My son. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Are y'all ready to proceed on the motion to revoke? Yes. Right. Court is calling 2022 CR 6643 State versus Karen Munoz. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Defense. Brian Kimbrough. And are you Miss Munoz? Yes. Did you review the document entitled Motion to Revoke Community Supervision with your attorney? Did you understand it? Are you the same Karen Munoz who was placed on community supervision? and 2022 CR 6643 for the offense of possession of a controlled substance penalty group one, one gram to four grams on January 4th, 2024 for a period of five years. Is that you? Yes. All right, state. Yes, how do you plead to that? True or not true? true. Any objections? No good. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number one, the court could find it true, grant the motion, and send you to prison for up to five years and a $2,500 fine? Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number one? The court will find violation of condition number one true. Is there a proposed agreement? Yes. And what is the proposed agreement? That's correct, Your Honor. Miss Munoz, so you're asking the court to follow that agreement? Mm -hmm. Are you waiving your right to appeal? Mm -hmm. All right, why haven't you raised your right hand for me? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth so help you God? Yeah. All right, you can lower your hand, state your name for the record. Um, All right, why have you not been doing well on probation? Um, the only thing I didn't do well is because there was, I've been on parole before and I thought that we did the UAs there at the probation office. So the second visit, that's when we, uh, it was it makes my understanding that we have to go somewhere else. And he said, the next time you come, make sure you, Okay. okay, so here it is. I it's not about this UA because you picked up a new number one. Oh, yeah. So we're back to why are you not doing well on probation? I have long the short story. My my husband he passed away, and I just, I just stopped trying for like seven days, and here we are. So here's the thing: I you can't throw your life off track because something happens especially you because you're on probation and you could be going to prison all right i'll follow your agreement and she's to remain in custody until transfer to esperanza court so the court will deny the motion alternate main conditions to esperanza court and if esperanza court does not accept her we'll have her brought back yes so tap evaluation and custody uh, referral to Esperanza Court and custody. Taking consideration 2024 PF 07946. And I'm going to want field visits upon release one time per month for six months. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. You're welcome.